No wonder this is where all the ferry pilots stay when they're crossing the North Atlantic from the hotel to the FBO. About 20 steps. Even before I left the hotel this morning, I knew this flight was going to be different. Oh, I can't throw this on the ground, can I, here? You just put it back in. Put it back in, yeah. Not like Melbourne. We're leaving Iceland this morning and flying to the East Midlands in the UK, but we already know there are going to be several obstacles along our way. There's a huge layer of icing all over Iceland this morning, which we have no choice but to fly through immediately after we depart Reykjavik. Then we have to fly the huge 600 nautical mile leg across the Atlantic Ocean before arriving in Wick, where the weather is forecast to be pretty low cloud and poor visibility. And then fly south through the United Kingdom, where already this morning some pretty nasty storms have started building up and they're only forecast to get worse as the day goes on. It's gonna be a big one right here. Yeah. I think today for me is gonna be different to anything I've ever experienced in a plane before. Because of the icing conditions that we're going to be experiencing on the way today, we've actually decided to file for a higher altitude. So we're going to go up to, I think it's flight level 210, which means we'll be on oxygen for a large part of the flight. But it means it gets us out of the icing layer, but also the higher altitude means an increased true airspeed. So we should be going across the Atlantic quicker. So there's some pros, there's some cons. Like anything in aviation, whatever you do, there's normally some good points about it and some not so good points about it. Reykjavik Town, November 123, Victor Papar is ready at the holding point for departure. November 123, Victor Papar, Reykjavik Tower, backtrack line up runway 13. Backtrack and line up runway 13, November 123, Victor Papar. I am annoyed at you, Philippe. I'm so sorry. Because... It's been an expensive trip, huh? No, 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 it's been an awesome trip. But, I mean, you've put me in a turbo, which I've never flown before, and now I've had five days in this. It's like... That's what I mean by an expensive trip. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah future expense. Yeah, so, uh, thanks. I don't think we can be friends anymore. I'm just letting you know after this. We can use the whole runway. I want to use the whole runway. I want to be an airliner. Oh, my gosh. You're actually following the yellow line for the turn, too. The ATR turning point. <laughs> Airspeed's increasing on both. Taxiway. Full power. 77. Uh, runway flaps away. Reykjavik approach, November 123, Victor Papar departed Reykjavik, passing 2100, climbing flight level 230. Number 123, Victor Papar approach, good morning, great, that identified. Good morning, 123, Victor Papar. Nice. So Mix just says where it is, we'd go back to, do you do 30.6? You do yeah, manifold? 30.5, yeah. 30.5, there you go. Yeah, oh, too far. That's fine, I don't need to chase the number. I don't need to chase the number as I sit here chasing the number. <laughs> That's the only reason I'd say it. And 125, 120? Uh, yeah, 125 is fine. 125 yeah, is fine. And then we'll lean. Yeah. To, uh, you know, the, the cyan mark. Yeah. That's fine. We could go a little bit more, probably. Yeah, a little bit richer. This is what we, this is all what we drove through, basically. Like what we're going to fly over. Yeah, there is something nice, isn't there? After you've been touring around on the ground to fly back over it, you can yeah. I went there, I went there, I went there. Yeah, so we won't, we won't see it, but um, it's all right. Mission focus today. We have a mission. We have a mission. We're climbing up. So you've got us at flight level 230, Philippe. Yeah, so today's flight planning. Thank you. It worked out to be about a four hour, 15 minute flight back. Uh, again, with headwinds going back to Scotland. And it looks like we'd be in icing for the majority of that flight. Yeah, so we've elected to climb up to flight level 230, where our headwinds are significantly less, uh, to the point where it's only about a three hour, 25 minute flight. But of course, when we're up at that altitude, we're going to have to pop on oxygen masks. Thank you. As we climb up past 6,000. Nice. Okay, so that's plugged in. And we have part of the oxygen kit that's often forgotten, is having the oximeter. Oh, yeah. The, you know, so we have that also out. out and that's ready to go. On standby, so we can you know, regularly, you know, maybe every 10, 15 minutes. So what we'd have to do is we have to actually take off our... Um, that's it. That's it. So I'll go first. You go watch, first. watch and laugh. There's nothing graceful about oxygen. <laughs> there we are. Now you can hear me, yeah? One, two, three, four. I can hear you loud and clear. You can hear me? Yep, I can hear you fine. Yeah. Great. So that's it. Oh, we're looking out here with ice. Yeah. I was just saying, there's a little bit just on the on the front on mine. Yeah. yeah. I think because we're we don't have an out. I'll switch the system on. Okay. Right. Well, there's more. Right. It's funny how quick that happens. Yeah. So it's at the max. Chunks of ice peeling off the windscreen. Yeah. There you go. I'm getting TKS bleed now coming out. 
Yep, and on my side too. And it is cutting through the ice that was on the leading edge. Chunk of ice falling off the wheel. Was that what that was? <laughs> I think so. Oh, you know what I see? I see some sunshine! <laughs> and again, remember how we, uh, in the UK, we had icing just in those tops of the clouds? Yeah, yeah. So again, you know, here's another case point, right? We only got icing here for about 1,500 feet. Right, you can see it's right there at the top of the cloud. Ricky Vic Control, November 123, Victor Papa passing flight level 118 on climb, flight level 230. Number 123, Victor Papa, Ricky Vic, good morning. Good morning. Okay, number 123, Victor Papa, after. One, one, two, three, four. You can hear me okay? Loud and clear. All right. Well, this is comfortable. <laughs> How do we eat snacks? Yeah. That's going to be a real problem. Right. Here we are. 23,000 feet up. 23,000 feet up. This is the highest that I've ever been in a Cirrus before. So our total time coming over here was four hours 40? Oh, it was about that, yeah. Yeah. And what have we got uh, now? Two, three, three and a quarter hours? Yeah, 320. Yeah, and a ground speed in the twos. Ground speed in the twos. That's always nice when you've got this much water below you. Ice three one Romeo. Eighty one. Let me crank it up. Yeah. There you go. Are you alert? So if we don't touch anything. We'll get the uh, hypoxia warning. Every time you touch a button, it resets. So we just over, well, we're coming up to about an hour and a half into the flight now, still at flight level 230. Fleet keeps prompting us to check our oxygen saturation levels, which is what we do with this finger clip. You would have seen me use this before if you see me flying in Australia too. Some flight stats, we've got about two hours, 10 minutes to go until we get to the destination of Wick, but that could change a little bit because we are forecast to get some headwinds uh, as we get closer to Scotland as well, so that could come down a little bit. But otherwise, everything's ticking along. Philippe's in charge of the playlist, so he's giving us some tunes to listen to at the moment, which is really good. Elton but John was featuring. That was good. I did enjoy that. Pretty clear air taking us across the Atlantic at the moment. Reykjavik, November 123, Victor Papa, we've just passed overhead Ratsu. Would you like us to switch to Scottish control now? November 123, Victor Papa, you can contact Scottish control, 134, decimal 85. You might be just on the edge of the range. If no joy, call me back. Okay, we'll try Scottish on 13485 and uh, we'll call you back if we don't get them. 123, Victor Papa. Scottish Control, November 1, 2, 3, Victor Papa. I think Iceland was right. They know their stuff. They know their stuff. November 1, 2, 3, Victor Papa. Yes, we can't raise Scottish on 134.85, so we're back with you on 12675. Started our descent now into Wick. Slowly descending our way down, but we're going to see if we can get down, maybe go VFR, have a look at a little bit of Scotland before going in. The nice thing about, I think especially Fleet's been counting down to the minute when we can do this, very shortly, in fact in about a thousand feet, the oxygen masks can come off and we can kind of go back to breathing regular oxygen because oh. we won't need the support. <laughs> so after a long flight across the Atlantic, yeah, that will that'll be a nice moment for us both, I think. We're all gonna have a big mark on our nose. <laughs> all right, let me get one selfie of us with our masks before I... I wasn't smiling. No, do ah, it again, do it again. It. Please, I insist. You, I think you've been waiting for this for longer than I me. I insist. How good does that feel? 
this is immense relief. I'm gonna move my nose. Move my mouth. I've also been trying not to drink water, obviously, on the way here. Probably a good time to start rehydrating again. Rehydrating and chocolate covered chickpeas. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Thank you. So, the moment we're to Bamra and we're about to put in a request, we want to fly over Stromness under a basic service. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, cancel IFR probably in about uh, five minutes. November 3, very Papa. Gotcha. This north point. That looks like the north. Oh, it is Johnny Groves, yeah. Number 3 Victor, Papa, runway 136, that's wind 130 degrees, 21 knots, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 13, November 123, Victor, Papa. And we're back in wig. Number 3 Victor, Papa, just from a parking plan, how long do you intend to be on the ground? Uh, probably about 35 minutes. Number 123, Victor Papa, after departure, cleared to East Midlands via Yankee 904, Papa 600. Climb flight level 110, squawk 4216. What's Yankee 904? Is that the way? Okay. Uh, we're cleared to East Midlands after departure via Yankee 904, Papa 600. Uh, cleared flight level 110 and 4216, November 123, Victor Papa. November 3, Victor Papa, correct, report ready for departure. We'll go to you, Papa. November 3, Victor Papa, right turn out, runway 13, surface in 130 degrees, 21 knots, clear for takeoff. Right turn, clear for takeoff, November 23, Victor Papa. This is where weather radar would be nice. Yep. I mean, if we don't like it, we'll just descend. Yeah. Putting the ice up. Well, the TKS yeah, on, yeah, let's get out of it. So we're um, leveled off now, we're just about to come over Aberdeen and then we're going to start making our way tracking down uh, to the East Midlands. This will be the last flight I get to do in November 123 Victor Papa. But next week I am hoping to do some more flying in another aircraft which Philippe's hooked up for me. 464 Mike Whiskey. November 464 Mike Whiskey. So another SR-22 Turbo. But it's great having a friend like you. You can just hook me up with these nice yeah, aircraft. What airplanes do you want? Oh. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> you want a plane. You're gonna be like the Oprah of <laughs> aeroplanes. <laughs> Blue skies now. Perfect. I've said before on the channel, if you're travelling, there's there's no reason not to fly if you're into a, your aviation, even if you don't have the right licensing, you don't have an aircraft, etc. But I'm lucky to have a friend in Philippe, someone like Philippe, to organise flying experiences for you when you go overseas. I think anyone could do it, right? Yeah, for sure. You know, for those aviation nuts among us. I mean, there's nothing better than getting airborne even if just for an hour, hour and a half around wherever you're staying. I'm not paid by Esalon or anything, I just want full disclosure, but Philippe and I are obviously flying together as mates. But if you do want to fly with Philippe, I'll stick his details down in the link below. Anyone could, I guess, give you a call. I'll put his personal phone number and his address online as well, so yeah. anyone could... Yeah, home address, <laughs> social security no, like business number. address. So oh, right, mean, oh. Even if you've only got a couple of days, whatever it is. Uh, speak to someone like Philippe and organise an excellent trip like this. But thanks for an awesome time. Ah oh, man, it was fun. It's been so thanks good. Thanks for coming to visit. What are we going to do next? Ah, uh, should we already spill the beans? Do we have a plan? I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we haven't got a plan. <laughs> There's no plan yet. Ah uh, yeah, that looks fun up ahead, doesn't it? They never look as big on camera, on screen. Uh, we, we I look at that and you think, whoa, you know, look at all the power in there. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, that looks pretty menacing. Oh my god, It looks yes. angry, doesn't it? It sure does, yeah. New weather ahead, just request uh, about 30 degrees, 10 miles to the right. Then 423, Victor Papa, all navigation for weather. I no navigation for weather, 123, Victor Papa, thank you. Feels, I don't know, it feels like this is going to be more behind it. Yeah, I think we're, this is it now. The rest of the flight, we're just going, we're going left and right. Yeah. So I think when we get to this, I mean, that's a wall. We're going to have to... What is behind that? Oh yeah, it is going to be bumpy. Yeah, oh yeah it is going to be bumpy. <laughs> it's going to be a big one right here. Yeah. I don't know what's behind it. It looks like more cloud, but... 
Yeah. See, that's why I'm glad to be up here, because if we're at 6,000 feet... Yeah, we might not be in icing temperatures, but then you're in it. Yeah, right? yeah you would be. That's We'd have to be at 2,000 feet to not be in it. There we go. Now we're done. No more ice. Penetrate. November 123, Victor Papa, turn right heading 180 degrees base leg. Right, 180, November 123, Victor Papa. I mean, it's really just raining over the airport. <laughs> yeah, that's where the shower is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, jeez. No, Hopefully good. it passes by the time we land and we don't have to get out in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> November 3, Victor Papa, turn right heading 235, cleared for the ILS from way 27. Right, 235, cleared ILS 27, 123, Victor Papa. Five hundred. Minimums. Minimums. Continue. Yeah. Don't need for any breaks. I think we're rolling for a while. Three, Victor Papa, vacate left at Sierra. Taxi uh, Mike four, and then onwards at your discretion. Wow, that's right. Thank you, mate. Hi. Awesome fun. Genuinely, I love that. We had that. a good time. We had a pretty good time. What's next? <laughs> See you, mate. Fly safe to begin. Woo.